welcome to New Parents in Training. So more recently, I found out that Dyson hair dryer actually has a stand. So last episode, I have reviewed three different kinds of the stand. And today I'm going to talk about some of the, this is not really a stand, but very unique. Uh, so I want to see how they work. Well, first thing, uh, this is just a universal bathroom shelf. Uh, so it, it can hold pretty much any type of uh, hair dryer. Doesn't have to be Dyson. So I'm just wanting to get this one and then like see how how it looked in the bathroom. I don't plan on keeping this one. But for this one, this one is very interesting. It's F12 two-in-one multi-function holder compatible with Dyson blower. So it seems like you can actually use your Dyson on top of it and treat this whole unit as a hand dryer. So we're going to see about that. As always, the links to those products are going to be in the description down below so you can go check out the most up-to-date pricing. Like I mentioned earlier, this one actually you can put on the top of the wall and use the hair dryer as a um, hand blower. So it's quite unique. I am not entirely sure how the hand blowing part will work because normally when you go to a bathroom in the restaurant, you put your hand underneath and what sends there's a hand and then will blow. But this, um, the hair dryer itself doesn't have any sensor. But we'll see how, how it will work. Okay, so here is the holder and there's some parts. And more parts. Apparently this you have to plug it in. Oh, there, there are some sensor here. Not exactly sure how this will work. But um, you put the Dyson on top of here and you can actually hold a couple of the accessories down here too. Now, they provide you with a couple of adhesive that you can attach onto a wall. And not entirely sure what this does. And the manual instruction. So I'm gonna go read this up and then set this up somewhere and test it out. This one is the last one, it's called the bathroom shelf. Uh, it holds any type of uh, hair dryer. So it's not limited to only Dyson. Oh, look, sealing fix. I think this is help you to, uh, it's the adhesive that you can sell on the back and put on top of wall or something. It's very simple design. So it, Pretty much you just attach to somewhere and then put your hair dryer on top and that will be it. Yeah, yeah nothing to it. <laughs> okay, well, I'll try this out I suppose. So let's talk about the universal one first. This is the bathroom shelf. It's very simple design and it's a hook on the front. You just put your hair dryer on top. The back you just use a double sided tape. Well, that's why I use to put it on. The adhesive that they provided, I had no clue how to use it, so I didn't bother to put it on there. Now, this one, the upside is, is really simple. It actually has a cable management system in the back. Let me show you real quick. It's actually able to hold all the cable slack up here. So when you need to use it, you just take the puck out and then put it, plug it in and you can start using it. It's quite uh, useful. Now the downside is, well, obviously it cannot hold anything else aside from just the hair dryer and the cable itself. I think this is actually really good compared to the hair dryer stand. This is actually more practical because this is the only one so far that has an actual cable management here. All right, now let's talk about this hand dryer. This is actually really cool. Uh, the way that you're gonna put it on top anywhere, first, I think what you need to do is to see where your electrical outlet is. You cannot be too far from it because the cable is not that long. So make sure that you find an outlet and kind of do some placement and see where will be a good fit. And then they do provide you with a two adhesive. So what you need to do is put on the back end and then peel back the seal. 
make sure that this is level with the machine because you don't want this to come out crooked. So now it is on. So you can just slide up and this adhesive will be on there. Okay, so a couple of things I need to mention. So there is a sensor here. Now there's a puck in here. Uh, this is where you're gonna puck your hair dryer um, outlet into. So I'll show you that to you in a little bit. And this two are uh, to hold the accessories. So it can only hold two. So here's the sensor. This is where the air is gonna come out of. Yeah. All right. So let me put this on top. Now your Dyson need to be on the arm position. So how this will work is you put this, you put the Dyson on top. You put the Dyson outlet in the back end here. And then you plug in the outlet for the machine. Okay, so now this is on. So what you need to do, voila. And it's off. On, off. This is cool. <laughs> this is really, <laughs> this is really something else. But there is a problem. I can turn this off for now, so it won't turn on every time I go under. Here's a problem. As you can see, there's so many cables, right? And there's no way for me to have any sort of cable management for uh, the Dyson here. I don't know where to put them. And there's no way for me to put it under or around. So it just kind of just hang out like so. Now, as far as for the machine's cable, they do provide you with this clip. Now, this has a tape on the back. You peel this off, you can place somewhere, say here, then you can wrap the slack around it. So it, it will hold the slack for this cable. But unfortunately, there's nothing else to hold the Dyson uh, cable. And lastly, uh, there's two accessory holder down here. So you can put it under right here. Uh, it's a shame that there's no cable management here. Otherwise, this is a really cool product. As if you put it here, it's away from the table. Uh, once you need to use the hair dryer, you pull it out and dry your hair, pull it back in. And normally, after you're done washing your hands, you can just put your hands under here and then get a dry from the hot air that coming out from the machine. So yeah, this is really uh, cool, but it's just the cables. Uh, the cable is just a, yeah, it's just not gonna work. It's just like hanging loose everywhere. Yeah, it's a shame. Anyway, if you have any questions, comment down below. Until next time, bye.